Greetings, my name is Bold Englishman, and today I will be starting a Let's Play of Final Doom, the PC version. Now the PlayStation Edition is out of the way and dusted. Uh, the PC Final Doom includes two megawatts of 32 levels each, and the first of which is called TNT Evolution. TNT is uh, a reference to the creators of this, uh, Team TNT, uh, a group of at the time, amateur games designers, level designers, um, who were working on this Megawad, originally intended as a free release, but then id Software came calling and wanted to broker a deal with them to release it um, through more traditional methods. Um, Evolution was the second Team TNT Megawad which was released, even though it was the first that was made, but then because of all the, you know, bureaucracy and red tape that they had to go through, it ended up being released after another Megawad called Icarus Alien Vanguard, which I do have some sort of plans of Let's Playing at some point. Uh, don't ask me when. So, TNT stands for The New Technology, and this Megawad makes up half of Final Doom. So with that, it's split up in much the same way as the Doom 2 Megawad. So, four episodes uh, divided by messages that progress the storyline, even though really I'm going to be splitting up into three, three different sky textures, you know, and six levels isn't really long enough to be an episode. So today I will be doing the first 11 levels. Let's try and do this pretty sharpish. I can't guarantee that I'll get all the secrets because, I, again, I'm really not as familiar with this as I am the other Doom games. So, Ultraviolence. And we start off with System Control with a different sky texture. Uh, this is the level which started off the TNT levels in, in the PlayStation edition of Final Doom. So... Do, some of you have seen this level already. Get some armor. TNT Evolution has very much like a tech theme to it. Whereas the Plutonia experiment, the other Megawad in Final Doom, is more like a natural, organic feel to it. Mega Armor straight away. Excellent. Kick them outside and get ourselves shotgun. Just like entryway. <laughs> Former human just got bitch snapped. And I can jump again. Yay, speed things up. I've already got the one secret of the level, which is excellent. What am I doing? Going back here. Watch out for the chain gunners. Suitably well equipped even after the first level. So this is down. How is this for inconsistency? All these bars with the like studs in them, but this one is plain. <gasps> it's a crime. This just brings us back out earlier in the level as we found out before. Go here, chain guns, and let's go. New interpick onto human barbecue. Another level featured in the PlayStation version. <laughs> Uh, 
and there is the human barbecue. Now that we're back to playing the PC version, I've no doubt that the difficulty is going to be quite a bit higher than what we've previously experienced. We can't shoot them, I don't think. Watch out for the spectres. open that later on, because we did actually manage to find all the secrets, I think. We've played through this before. Ouch. That was a bit stupid. So many zombies. Oh, I wanted to blow you up. You fiend. Right. Into the red door. Pick off the commandos. Commandos are a mainstay of these final Doom levels. The main thing that immediately increases the difficulty for playing old Doom 2. That pack on the second level. No, in Doom 2 it was only the third level. Depending on the version of the game you had. That's what I was talking about. This is working. Yeah, that's what I was talking about before. Playing the PlayStation version, all these mid-level enemies like Pain Elementals and Kaka Demons were just entirely absent. Whereas this is a lot more difficult than PC Doom 2. Pain Elemental on the second level. My god! So extreme! Right. <coughs> now we use a map. We can... Grab the blue key. I'm just going to jump up again. Save time. And now we're on our way to go get the double barrel shotgun. I'm wary of 
those barrels. I know I'm just gonna be standing next to them when they get blown up. things take so long to die. Okay. Now, one of these switches will teleport us to where we need to be. No. That's it. Excellent. And there's nowhere else to go here. There we go. All explored. The double power shotgun is ours. first and then deal with the Hell Knights. And that probably opens up Teleporter is probably open now. Get the shells. Yes. We have a soul sphere. Oh, and I failed again. But that level is fully complete. Onto power control. The first PC exclusive level here. <coughs> Nothing behind us. Three secrets. <coughs> oh, hello. Didn't see you there. Green armor, okay. And shells, which I don't really want to pick up. Come on. Trigger, trigger. Damn it. <laughs> hate having to do that. Such a waste of ammo. Okay, nothing else here. Apart from you, so I'll pick up some more shells. Nothing in here? <coughs> no. I have a feeling I don't really want to go in there yet. So if I remember correctly, it teleports us to a place which is just filled with enemies. Ooh. 
lots of chain gunners around here, so be careful who you reveal yourself to. You can see them in the distance there. pick off these things that are here. Right. Now let's go around the outside. Around the outside. Around the outside. the outside ring. Very easily could have backtracked into a fireball just then. Pretty intense levels. I really wouldn't recommend playing this unless you've well comfortable with Doom 2 at least. But I guess you expect that sort of like progression in difficulty. And certainly play. I'm, the reason I'm playing Evolution first is because Evolution is by far easier than the Plutonia experiment. Okay, now we can go into the middle. Grab the key. Is there anything else? No. But we can go into these. The teleporter on the left takes you into the little towers that the zombies were in. What have I got? Red key, so it's down here and on the left. Yeah, two with one shot. One secret down. Well, two secrets because we discovered that teleporter before. Spreads way too wide. That raised this, I think. Just no, it's not. Okay. <coughs> I 
was able to prepare for that revenant that time round. Yellow key. Right, next. Long here. I'll go get this first. Right, this is the room that the teleporter teleports you into, but you get teleported into the middle room there. So, as you can see, if you were to just teleport in prematurely, like before, you'd just be surrounded by enemies, and it's pretty brutal. It's been a while since I've played these levels, but I do remember a thing or two. the shotgunner that went through before. <laughs> and guess who we get to see on even just the third level? Thankfully, we've got cover to deal with him, but still, oh, we're on the third level. It's pretty brutal. Now we can go through that teleporter, which was over here. Yeah. So there's not really anything there for it to really warrant being secret. Um. Any more shells? Yes, that'll do. One more secret somewhere. <coughs> but I want to really just look at the ammo. Some of these shotguns inside. Yeah, it was just the one. It was just the one. Started going up. There's really nothing. Right. I can only assume that the secret is probably towards the beginning of the level, but I'm not going to waste time here. It's become more of just a let's play rather than a walkthrough. Uh, right. At least it gets you to the end of the level and all the enemies killed.